Alright, so we made it to the final video of the Mabinogi Generation 1 playthrough. FINALLY! We managed to translate that entire Book of Revenge. We found out that Tarlok's master is working with the Formers. We found out that Tarlok's friend, Mari, is the son of Moors. We found out that the Crystal, who is the priest of the Bardis, is a succubus. We found out that Tir Tir Nog, Nog is not a paradise. It's a world that's inhabited by a bunch of Formers. And it's basically like a mirrored version of the real world. And we've made our way to Tir Nog. Nog. We met some dude named Dougal. He was like a vessel for the Glass Glabeam, which is like a monster that's going to be summoned. And if we don't stop Glass Glabeam, or whatever you call it, it's going to basically destroy the world. We find out where Glass Glabeam was being held, and now we're finally going to take it down. And we find out that a guy named Seekle was the one who was pretending to be Morgan and deceiving everybody. So now we're going to finally end all this. We're going to go beat Glass Glabeam and basically save the world now. Everything rides on this one moment, so let's get into it. <laughs> Well, so far, this dungeon's been very easy. I haven't been threatened at all. But, okay, so we're on the second floor, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna get tougher now. Red Skeletons? I don't think I ever ran into a Red Skeleton before, but they're not really proving that difficult either. Yo, but though, what's crazy about this is that, like, Tarlac knew how to get the Tear Eye Nog the whole time, because he was there before. And instead of just telling us how to get there from the very beginning, he basically went out of his way to try to prevent us from even going there. And try to convince us that we shouldn't go there and all this stuff. When he literally could have like just sent us there from the very beginning. And we probably would have got there before Glass Goblin was even starting to be resurrected. And it would have saved us so much more time. Okay, so I can see now like as we get deeper into this dungeon, the enemies are getting more and more menacing. Like, first we, we had like just the spiders, and then it went up to red skeletons, and now we're fighting gargoyles. So, I wonder who's gonna appear next. And now we got werewolves now. And as I said before, werewolves were like a menace back in the day when I used to play this game. Now that I'm over leveled, like back in the day, there was a dungeon I used to run. And like when the werewolves would appear, it would just be one single werewolf by himself. So back then, there would be no way I'd probably be able to even finish this dungeon, to be honest. Okay, so the white snakes seem pretty out of place. I feel like those don't really blend in with the aesthetic. Ooh, look, look at all that gold. Why was a snake carrying all that gold? That's so weird. Brown gremlins. These guys just look like mini gargoyles. Flying swords. Okay, those guys aren't tough. Brown rat. Okay, now. Ghost armors, okay. These ghost armors aren't really proven to be that difficult either. Like, they gotta step it up if they wanna, like, stop me from getting to the boss. We did it. We made it to the boss room. Everything that we've been working toward has finally paid off. We made it to this point. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna beat the glass globe beam monster thing, and we're gonna save Morgan. So let's go in there. Okay, that did not look right. You've come far, but this is the end for you. No one can stop the resurrection of Glass Globeam. May the blessing of the goddess Morgan be with me. Have at you. Who? Oh! Bro, who is this guy? I hope once I beat this guy... Oh wait, there's Ghost Armor too. Once I beat this guy, I hope that they finally tell me who this man is. Ah! That dude was such a joke. Ah! Bro, he was such a joke, man. He died in two hits. Ooh. Wow, man. This dude's all talk, bro. Nope. Ooh. Ghost armors aren't tough. Bam. Ooh. Too easy, man. You gotta throw more at me than that. Impressive. Bruh. That's all you got to say? Bro we just got molly whopped in two hits. And all he can say is impressive. And all his men also got taken out too. But the time has finally come. The day we have long awaited. The last days of Aaron. I will grant you one final mercy. You may be the first victim of the newly resurrected Glass Gleba Gleam. May the punishment for your sins be agonizing, intruder. Where is he going? You have come earlier than expected, hey, and for that I commend you. But alas, Glass Gleam has already been resurrected. But do not lose heart. You surely have proven yourself worthy of this fate. And it is not your fault that the blood of the brave souls such as yours have helped accelerate the revival of Glass Goblin. Now there is no way to stop this monster from completely destroying the land of the humans. Struggle if you must. Okay, that's definitely not the real Morrigan.
That thing is pretty, like, sinister looking. And I have to beat it all by myself with no help. As you know, when you do this, you're really supposed to bring like three people or two other people. Oh, well, my, he's already going in fighting it. But I think what I want to do is, is pick off his allies first. Like pick off all the gargoyles before I go for him. So I guess I'll let my cloud keep him busy. I already got this one's attention, but he's done. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, these guys aren't doing that much damage to me. I don't, actually, they're not doing any damage to me at all. There's one over there, he's charging up a lightning bolt, but like, that's not going to do him any good. So we can just final hit all these guys. <coughs> and one-shot them. <coughs> and now all we have to hit <coughs> is fight glass, go beam, and see. <coughs> oh, oh, that was easy. I'm not gonna say that was underwhelming, but it was pretty underwhelming. But I kinda expected this much. Alright, so now we gotta fight Moors. Oh my, you really defeated Glasgow Beam? This is better than I expected. Wait, what? Run, she's not the real goddess. She's an imposter. Obviously. Ah, uh, you finally figured it out, Moors. How stupid humans are. So easily deceived by what their eyes see. Even a great wither like you is no exception to that. You didn't trust me enough to fully resurrect Glasgow Beam, leaving it weak and vulnerable. Yet it took you this long to find the courage to disclose my true identity. Sickle, I knew it was you. Not the cow. How dare you disguise yourself as the goddess? I knew from the very moment you tried to kill Tarlac and Mari. Haha, ha, if that's the case. Why did you do nothing? It's too late now. Either way, Sickle, your plan has failed. Glasgow Beam is already dead. Surrender and beg for mercy. Haha, ha. me beg for mercy? You humans are so funny. How could a god like me ever beg to an insect like you? You really don't believe you ruined my plans just by defeating Glasgow Beam? Stop bluffing. You deserve to be destroyed once and for all. Haha, ha. you're still a fool, Morris. This is only the beginning. You should have known better. You know what happens when Glasgow Beam falls. What? After all, you're its creator. That's... Wait, what happened when it falls? A nuclear explosion? Okay, that does not look good. The destruction of Urg, the link between two worlds. How could I... Sickle, this is what you intended all along? Why, Morris? You seem surprised. A little too late for that, no? You used me. This is why you wanted Glasgow Beam. It's all my fault. But I will pay for my own sins. I will sacrifice my life to end everything I've started. Your words are ludicrous, little wizard, and your sins are your own to suffer. Your pitiful little punishment to mean nothing to me. All humans must be wiped from existence. Is that a challenge? I may be old, but I'm still a wizard. Perhaps the greatest there ever was. Do not underestimate me just because you're a god. Behold, evil creature, whose destruction and chaos into our world. Take this. Ah, uh, leave this place now. Say less. You can't beat him right now, you're too weak. Does he not see the aura that's flowing around me? Magic, mana, their origins lie with the gods. Humans are just cheap imitators. Even the best wizards are mere imposters. For you to lack even the most basic ability to save yourself, well, it is a failing of all humans. So all we have left are whelps. Do not fear, child. If you must blame, blame fate for making you a mere human. I order you in the name of the goddess. Stop. Well, it's about time. This is Morgan. The whelp is more than it seems, eh? Saving the goddess is no small feat. You have disturbed the human world with your deceptions. As the goddess of revenge, I shall not regard this lightly. Deceptions? I have deceived no one. My words and actions ring truer than any plateau. Taking your form was merely a necessary step in doing so. Open your eyes and look. Hatred, war, murder. These are creations of humans. The choices they have made. This is the ultimate goal of their kind. Ruler of formers, heir of Balor, why do you hate humans so? He just said why he hated humans. Why do you still fight 
after all the blood that's been shed through the two wars. Do you not realize more blood than just humans are will be spilled? If another war to erupt, formers will pay an equal price. You are wrong, Morgan. The first step to true paradise is annihilation of the humans. The blood of the formers burned solely for that reason. Bailar was too sympathetic, thus he failed. But I am different. Our world will be born from the deaths of humanity. Are you not aware, Morgan? As a god, you must know the ultimate will of those who created us. Wait, who, someone created the gods? Grieving creature, why must you seek to bring a higher meaning to your own convictions? Do not twist the will of divinity to your own ends. You betray your station. A goddess who speaks like a human. It is shameful. I understand your intentions, Sigil, but... I'm a goddess of revenge. The pain and sorrow I've suffered in all these years of confinement allow me no choice but to avenge the injustice you have inflicted upon me. Prepare yourself. Was that weak body of yours just emerging from the seal? Perhaps it is not the time, Morgan. I shall hold off your challenge until next time. Ha ha ha. Why would he do that? Why would he just, he just attack her while she's weak? You managed to beat Glasgow Beam. Well done. I shall not forget your names now. I came as fast as I could, but I can see I was not fast enough. You have defeated Glasgow Beam. Thank you. The giant may be gone, but this is not the end. What I truly fear is what comes after Glasgow Beam's death. The dark mana discharged from the decaying shell of Glasgow Beam acts as a natural order of Eren. It tears open a gateway connecting Eren and this world. Yes, that was Sickle's plan from the start. Now his dark lords do not need the dungeons to invade Eren. So basically, he played us. Bruh. The dark mana will destroy my seal, and combining of the two worlds is something that no one will be able to stop. Please return and start preparing for the inevitable invasion of the formers. They will no doubt capitalize on this opportunity, and soon I will try to safeguard as much as I can. But I simply cannot protect Eren alone. Sickle's ambition will one day engulf and burn the whole world. Make sure no humans are tricked into serving the formers as Moore's was. And please train diligently so you will be ready to face the formers and Sickle's minions in their conquest. Marinada has come for her father. Yes, that is Mari, the guide of the soul stream. You know her as now, and now you know why she called to you. Okay, that was a plot twist I didn't expect, so Mari's now. And those of you who don't play this game, like now is like, like I said, like they say, the guy of the soul stream. She lets you like rebirth and like she like watches over you throughout the game. And she's also like the main like mascot of the entire Mabinogi game itself. Now, please return to Eren. May the blessings of Limerick and Adam Semeni be with you. Farewell. And we will meet again when the time is right. Felshire, please remember the path you will be taking from here on out. The path of becoming a holy knight shrouded in Eren, the guardian of Eren. I gotta say, that was a whole movie. Or maybe not a whole movie, that was like playing an anime, essentially. That's a pretty good, like, introduction to the world of Mabinogi. It literally took you all over the place. It took you to many dungeons, many areas, it took you to an alternate world. The story was pretty engaging, too. And there's so many twists and turns. Like, yeah, I'm very eager to, like, get to the next generation. But though, we've had, like, eight Mabinogi videos so far, so... The next videos I post on this channel are going to be of like other games, but don't don't fear. I'm going to do the Mabinogi playthrough, bro. I'm pretty sure by the time like this is even posted, I'll probably have Generation 2 already like completed and done. Stop the cat. And I'll just be editing it. So be on the lookout for that, man. That being said, this is a pretty good stopping point. Be sure to like, comment, and turn on notifications. Just giving you a heads up, the next two to three videos won't be Mabinogi because this is not a Mabinogi channel. This is just a channel of content from all the games that I play regularly. It just happens to be that I play Mabinogi like a lot. So Mabinogi is going to be very prevalent on this channel. But I will be playing other games. Next two, three videos will be a different game that I'm playing. But then after those three videos, we'll be back into Mabinogi doing Generation 2. And Generation 2, if from what I remember, was a lot shorter than Generation 1. But I vaguely remember there being a lot of cool events that take place. I don't remember the story completely because back when I was playing the game, I wasn't paying attention to the story. I was just trying to rush through the generation. So I can get like all the special items and transformations and so on. So it's going to be really interesting playing through Generation 2. All my social media is down below in the description. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Tristan Floor. And I'll see you in the next video.